Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ESL1 Katowice here. And it is, of course, the quarterfinals. Fnatic up against Penta. They are currently 1-0 up after going 16-8 on Inferno. Undoubtedly their best map. But now we're moving on to Penta's choice, which was Cash, which, unfortunately, Fnatic are not that bad on either. No, I think this is probably in Fnatic's top three map. So I don't know how Penta are feeling about it. They're obviously more confident as their choice, but knowing you're versing the best team in the world, on one of their top three maps is probably a pretty uh, daunting experience. Well, Penta lost 16-12 on this one just a couple of weeks ago. Of course, it was online, yep. so you know things can change differently uh, with online. Not quite as bad as it would be in Australia with the pinks over there. I'm probably pretty sure. Oh, we play at the beach and <laughs> in the sun. It's, it's all just 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 part of the experience. I, I just I'm just getting an image of Top Gun playing on the beach now. <laughs> yeah, no, he loves it. He gets his tan on. It's it's really good fun. <laughs> But we're going to get into the game. They're just doing going through a warm up at the moment. What are we expecting to see? If Fnatic, I think, have the CT side start because they had the map choice, yep. uh, the the side choice after the map through the V2 process. Penta, of course, going to be approaching this one after a 16-8 loss. Are they going to, you know, maybe try and throw new things in there? Are they going to stick to the tried and tested tactics? Of course, they've approached this game pretty much knowing they're going to have to face the likes of Fnatic if they have a hope of winning this tournament? You always want to play your own game first. So they should go to what works best for them. And then if that doesn't work, they need to be able to be inventive and throw in things which are going to surprise Fnatic and Fnatic style. Uh, Fnatic will go out there knowing how Penta are going to play as well. And I think they'll be more proactive in the way of messing up strats for, uh, for Penta. So we'll see what happens here. Well, here we go again. And you can see Armin oh, being bought up next. Looks like he's been gifted that Tech 9 as well, so it's become a standard tactic almost for the pistol round for the T side, I feel. It's almost the, uh, the move of the tournament so far. Well, let's see if it works out for them. It is going to be an A push, three through squeaky as they push on through. Crims is the man trying to stop them over a quad there. We'll get tagged down, gets a lot of damage down onto him. Can do a lot of pressure. We'll get one down. Pronax with the grenade. We'll find a second over in the quad side. Spitty not going to quite get picked off there. Dennis is low and Fnatic have reacted well to this one, but they've not counted on Dennis hopping around that side there. Pronax forced off upper. Bombplant will come in. It's down to a two on two. Smoke's wow. going out. That's going to hold them steady, but A main is being pushed by Flusher. Flusher comes around. It's now at a two on one speedy the last man standing can't get the bomb plant down because they just keep pushing his position he tries it again unsuccessfully pronax just keeping him on his toes he's second guessing himself he's got plenty of time but they are pushing the angles you can see they're just the other side of this this pronax gonna get boosted in there they will take him down flusher with a hat trick of frags and that will be the defuse for fanatic and that's just the start that fanatic wanted this is what I want to see from Penta, if they're actually going to take the Ecos to get up the uh, smokes and flashes that they need to be able to execute properly on this map, or if they're going to continue the same theme as the last map where they were force buying a lot and they were they were really trying to keep Fnatic's money low while pushing those close rounds. But it does look like, yeah, just, just to save here and they have a smoke and a flash on Spitty. Well, the unfortunate problem is that Olaf Meister has been gifted that Tech 9. <laughs> yeah, stay away from that. <laughs> we'll see what damage he can wreck with it as he makes his way through the mid. He's going to be holding that position with the smoke down. It's going to keep them away from site. B site is the current location of the bomb that Penta is going to try and work towards. Flusher is ready and waiting. He's had the message, of course, from Olaf Meister in that mid immediately. Will get himself one through vents. Olaf will get the second. Crims will get himself another. And now just Crystal remaining as Olaf Meister does get himself two kills with that. Flawless. Take nine. Exactly the second start they wanted. But it was a full eco from Penta, which means they can go for those AKs now. And that means they will try and invest heavily. It's, it's a risk that they're going to have to push for. Fnatic have the AWP up early as well, which is kind of the best thing for them to do. You saw it on Inferno when they got the AWP up on CT. They really started to dominate the round, so we'll see how Olaf plays with it here, aggressively at B. He's tagged up. He has got support from Vets if he needs it. He manages to find Crystal down, but he's getting pressured here. Trouble, he does get the kill, but Crims just pops out of the vents, gets himself one. Trouble, he replies with the second. Flushing out, covering up from upper. They are onto the site already. Bombplant not quite down yet. Trouble, he tries to make his way through. Flusher almost landed in the shots. Instead, you see Dennis trading blows with Pronax. That was over in the mid site. Pronax. Pushing through, drops that into Vents. Trouble, he gets himself a third. And just 
now it is flush he's gonna smoke off troubly manages to find him through the smoke as well he's oh tagged heavily God. oh he gets next down should be able to get the defuse in there rescues the orb and penta well they thought they had that one Probably trying to perform some magic, but Fnatic get the defuse in and they go uh, third round running. And Penta are going to have to change things up once again. That was a, a fully invested round from them for the AKs. They really should have won that. That was a bad decision by Trouble. I know he was low and I know he was smoked off, but Flush hadn't even taken the site then and he's picking through. They could have at least uh, got the player inside to bait for him and then he could have picked and uh, tried to kill Flusher in the back. Just, uh, just a bad decision there by the T's to, to pick Flusher. We'll see how they adjust from this one. It looks like it may well be an A play. They've gone the four spies. They're back on that uh, that mentality. Well, Mostert was holding the angle. Doesn't manage to land the shot. Second time of asking. Doesn't get it either. Was caught slightly, but he knows that likely to be pushing through. He's had the support of JW, who has tossed down that molly to keep them away from dropping. Two of them boosted. Trombley and next. Flashes go out. Trombley is going to drop that and try and follow this one through. Olofmeister expecting someone to push onto box already. Probably is creeping his way down there now. Unseen so far. Takes Olof's a peek. Ready for this. Scoped up. He's looking towards the boost at the moment. He's not ready and waiting for Trobley. And he actually doesn't have some, any support in the mid either. Because they've already rotated to cover off that A site. Crims flashed out meanwhile over on B. In checkers, he's going to pop around the corner. Crystal hasn't checked this corner. AG, that probably does get Olaf. That's down in the middle as well. And Crims popping around. And he's going to get one down in checkers. Crystal's there. Flusher gets a second. And they didn't quite check the angles. Trouble tries to come through. He gets taken. And this B push has been stopped dead in its tracks as Crims manages to take it down. But now it is a one on one as Dennis manages to get the kill. But that bomb is loose. And Crims has his eye on it. Then he's going to come through. Too many places to check here for him. He's going to check every angle. They're going to hear him pick it up. But Crims has gone wandering. Instead, he's going to prefer to go for the retake here. Bomb plant oh going no. in. Why? Counter-terrorists win. Have a run down. He could have planted safe. He would have given his team a lot of money for the next round. And then he still had a 1v1 chance. But instead, he's tried to be the hero. Gone to face Crims and, and tossed his team a, a plan. Just a couple of steps. I mean, it's it's one of those things you just gotta just gotta know your timing. How long it's gonna take you to get from that position to that site to get that bomb plant down. Just a couple of looks, but nonetheless, after a, what was effectively a very good mid play, yeah. they probably should have closed that round out. Considering they didn't have any smokes and flashes to execute with late round, they did really well to trade and get to that position. And uh, he could have had a plan. I, I just I'm really confused. Well, Spitty has been taken down. Pronax with the door shots on towards Squeaky. And that's immediately shut this attack down in its tracks. Olaf Meister will take Dennis down. He's just got the P250s left. JW and Olaf Meister will gun them down. 5 0, Fnatic. It's looking a little bit easy now as Penta starts to lose out on those rounds. They just should have won. Uh, if they don't get this round, I feel like it's going to spiral out of control here. Um, this could be the round that breaks Penta. Okay, let's see if it works out. They've got themselves the AWP for the first time. Speedy is going to have that one. We'll see if he uses it boost. No, he's going to try and rush straight towards it. And actually, he's running headlong. JW was actually pushing close. He switches weapons, gives it across the crystal. So purely down to that spawn position to see if he could get that open frag. But didn't work out. Was blocked off by Fnatic. Fnatic aren't opting to pick up any orbs, and yet they must be trying to get their economy really, really buffed up before they pick them up. Olaf Meister, I think he had one in the earlier on, but we haven't seen Jane W go into that single-handed defensive strategy that he often does over on the A side. Dennis has got himself snuck in here. I think he's managed to creep his way through the smoke. I don't think they realize he's in on site so close. Flusher position, but remember Crims is there. Now they know he's there. He pops around, doesn't manage to get one, tries to get the second. This time they will open up the site. It's pretty actually that manages to get both of those kills. Olaf Muster though, dropping through checkers, through the smoke, unseen. Oh, oh no. he has to land the shot. It's not going to work out. Next spun around, got himself a T kill on Spitty, but the damage was done and Pronax is now the last man standing. He's just going to step himself away and keep his rifle safe.
And that is going to be the first round on the board for Penta. So it's took them a couple of bites of the cherry, but they have finally managed to make it count from honestly sneaky playthrough smokes. Yeah, they had uh, Fnatic had three towards B. One, uh, JW was in the vent, and Flusher and Crims were both in the site. So you'd probably say they should have won that round because they, they, they let T's get really close, which is perfect for their crossfire, but they just didn't make the frags they had to. Well, Pronax is certainly oh, making no, the frags. He got three at the end That's there. That's so important the right there. Well, they managed to save the orb, but taking three rifles out of the hand for that exit, wow, well, that was not exactly what Penta had planned in the first round they've just won. They have got enough to buy back up, though, but it's not going to be the full grenade set that they would have liked. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Fnatic are a little bit more aggressive here. They have brought up the double orb, so this means that they can play one orb at each site uh, quite safely, and they can have a bit more focus on mid, and then here's Olaf aggro B again. And that's going to be Olaf opening up the account. Dennis is going to come around the side. Does get himself one on Crystal. JW, the other orb, of course. He's over on A site, holding that all on his own. He's got a little bit of support, of course. Pronax just around that A site. Dennis, though, pops around, gets himself Olaf Meister down, and that may be enough information. Let's see if the rotate happens. You do see them pushing through vents. They've got two members here, Fnatic, in and around this vents area to push on through and cover this B site. They haven't dropped down. Flusher does. And this fake has worked out well for Penta. If you look towards B right now, you can see three CTs pushing aggressively here and JW is still solo warping A. So it's a massive risk from uh, Fnatic here, but it seems to be paying off. They know it's going to be A or at least middle. Oh. If Pronax comes around right now, he's going to catch four of them with their backs to them. Incense, but he will oh. check the angle. Does turn around, checks there's anyone lurking. Flusher will get himself one though and trade. And his neck's in trouble in a two on three situation. They are going to get the bomb plant down, but Flusher's already close by. Next goes down. Now it's a two, a one on three. JW and Flusher should be able to hold this one off, trying to use the smoke to his advantage. He's going to get pushed out of the site. I'm not sure he's, he's going to be able to keep this one away. He's, he's going to have to save. He's finding the ult, which is good, and give him a. A weapon for next round, but they they might force by. Their money's going to be pretty average. But with that AWP, we'll see if they try something a bit different. Um, they they lost the duel early against Olaf at B, but picked it up, and Dennis was able to take him out. Should definitely be a, a save round here from Penta. Two of their players don't have any kills. Nex and Crystal both on zero. You need players to get themselves up, especially looking at Nex and Crystal, ironically, were the two top fraggers. Crystal, the high, second highest rated, I think, yesterday, or third highest rated player through the matches. Nex was the highest fragger for them on Inferno just a moment ago, so need those players to start getting some kills. Crystal with the AWP really has to try and open his account here because there's three Tech Nines in the hands of Penta along with that P250. They did manage to get head armor on Trouble, so they forced as much as they can here. Trouble is about to push through, go sneakily through that smoke. Dennis, unseen, will be Pronax down, and they have opened up this A site. Crystal was extremely late then on A main, and uh, it kind of caught Pronax off guard, who had pushed in. Flusher flicks around, gets himself one of those shots. Just expect it, JW. Oh, Trouble, he could have got himself a hat full there. Will get himself one. Flusher, the last man standing, he's only got 12 health left. Spitty will close that one out. That will be a solid round from Penta. Remember, that was just Tech Nines and an AWP at the start of that round. And they closed it out well. Maybe, just maybe, they need to start playing a little faster against Fnatic. I definitely think a few aggressive strategies here catching... Uh, oh, we're seeing an eco from Fnatic. Yeah. This could be a turning point right here. Fnatic have to eco. This is going to give uh, Penta maybe a, a foothold in the game. But if they can keep it fast on those gun rounds, it will catch Fnatic off guard the early round at least. See where they go. It's going to be three man stack on B, two on A, but it's the mid that's been left open and Crystal already up against those vents with Trouble -y. Three members taking mid control from Penta and Penta really can go anywhere they like now. It's going to be a gamble here on which side they decide to go because they have stacked, uh, Fnatic has stacked the B site and uh, we have Ronax over at A by himself. They did this a lot on Inferno as well that the, um, the riflers Stuck to sight, and Pronax just the caller went on his own. I think maybe he might feel he has a better sense of where to tell his players to go mid round. Well, Pronax has pushed up pretty aggressively on A as well, up in A main. So he's got all the information he needs that they're not coming towards him, but they are instead going straight up that mid. You can see Crims hasn't been able to get a look around there. They're just expecting 
something to come. They know that they've given up that mid because they've not stacked any player there. And I think it's Spitty that's just rattling the shots off and keeping them busy over on that B site. You can see he's just around the side there. That bomb going down. That's going to signal it. Dennis is there to cover it off. Speedy going to pick them all off. This should be like shooting fish in a barrel. Pronax is the last man over in A-Main, just hoping to get some exits. He was the only guy near the bomb site where the bomb's planted, and he's the last alive. Probably not looking. Does spin around, and he will get taken down. That's enough that Pronax wanted to do. If he can get that AK and run away, he will be happy. And that's exactly what he's going to go for. He's going to run straight into trouble, I think. Uh, sorry, Speedy just around the side. Who will close out the round. So 6-4 for Penta. They do get themselves another round on the board. And this is starting to shape up to be a pretty decent T-side. 6-3, uh, sorry. Two have won three rounds. And uh, this, the kills are quite low again. It's, it seems like another game of saving. But JW, in contrast to the last game, he hasn't an impact. He's only had two kills so far. And his last game, I think he ended up with about 28 or something over, over the course of the match. So hopefully he can step it up and get involved. To be fair, they've actually kind of been avoiding him. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, I mean, they, they keep away from that A site. But once again, we're seeing Penta with full mid control here. Olaf is going to get smoked off. You can see three members already pushed on through. And now, of course, that gives them the option to go where they like. The bomb is in mid. Probably has that on him. Not anymore as he tosses it into the corner. But we can see a little bit of pressure over A main. JW holding close with the Mag 7, hoping that someone dares to open that door. But instead, it's Dennis who's coming up with the AWP just around the corner. I tell you what, if JW wants to swing around and have a look, it's got a very good chance at taking Dennis down. Doesn't matter. Pronax will. Didn't see him there. And, well, we didn't see a great deal, that's for sure. JW, oh, not quite going to get Spitty down. Gets him down to 11 health. Nex and Spitty are the only men standing. Nex is going to have to go big. That's unlike they are just not catching any angle there. And Fnatic played that one brilliantly. We're gonna see, yeah, it's another gun round here from Penta. They need they need a few more rounds. I think if they want to be able to take this match out, they're gonna to need to get at least six on the T side. It is probably just uh, a CT bias map, maybe a, a nine six eight seven kind of half. But if Penta can um, get five, I think they'll probably be five or six. They'll be happy with that. Well, JW preferring to go with that Mag Seven once again. Olaf Meister smoking out, and that grenade's gonna be on point actually. There's the aggression that there they is. need. Oh, Dennis is actually caught out. They know he's in vents. Flush is putting a lot of shots down towards him. But it is going to be a three-man drop through the vents straight away. Penta piling in there. Flush are trying to keep them at bay. Olaf Meister up on high. Flush is spraying down Crystal. And now it's a three on two. As JW follows Penta through those vents. Comes back around the side. Finds trouble. Spitty was also taken down. And Penta did try and speed things up. They try that fast push through vents. But Fnatic read them all too easily. All over them there. They really didn't want to get into B. They had three players towards the B site when they thought it was going to be a, a B hit, and they just didn't let them anywhere near that bomb site. Well, Fnatic, remember, did take the first map. They were 16-8 on Inferno. If you missed that one, if you just joined us, it is 8-3 currently. As you can see, for Fnatic on this CT side, their side choice, Penta's map choice. And Penta really need to get themselves on the board, but with a Deagle and P250s, I don't fancy their chances. JW going aggressive, finds himself the early frag. And immediately that molly is going to follow through. Spray on through the smoke. Just trying to keep them down. Next will drop. Last man, Trouble does have the bomb, but unless he pulls off some miracle play, he's going to get quickly taken down. I'm not sure if it's Fnatic's confidence growing, making them more aggressive, or if uh, Penta is just getting down on themselves and Fnatic are making all the shots while they're just too concerned with the dwindling amount of rounds left to play with. Well, I mean, if, if you were to look back across Fnatic's games on cash, you would often see JW, who has just picked up the AWP now, often pop flashing himself out on that A ramp, um, A main. We'll see whether he does it. No, he's going to go in towards the mid once again. So clearly feeling that mid control is required. Dennis is about to boost straight into the crosshairs of JW. And that is exactly what they needed. Well, off most of playing up close, trying to get the drop. Doesn't quite get himself a second as next replies. But immediately that's put a gigantic dent into Penta's attack. And now they're down to two mem members already. It's not looking good for them this round. They do have two Fnatic players that are long. 
Ooh, that's unlucky. <laughs> JW actually on sandbags, pushed on through the smoke there, Spitty. That's going to take it down to a three on two. Now, Pronax is only on 15 health, so it's not beyond the realms of possibilities, but Spitty and Crystal are going to have to sync up on this one and make their move together. That's exactly what they're doing. They're going to push up, maybe go up short towards A, which is where Pronax is hiding over on that quad. But he's got the support of Crims on the truck. And this is such an important round, I feel, for Penta. If they can time this right and get in uh, Pronax's face while Crims is looking the other way towards the mid connector, they will be able to kill Pronax without him probably getting a frag, which is, which is what they need oh. to even this up. They've split up. They've split up the angles. Crystal's got to be careful. He's got Crims off to the left. He's going to go... Is he going to go up? Is he going to try and boost himself? Really could do with the support. I don't understand why they're split across. Oh, I do, because they tried to draw the attention, but... It wasn't enough. Now Spitty with Flusher. Flusher will hold his angle and cover his sight. It's one of the interesting decisions. I mean, when you're in that situation, they clearly you could see what they were doing. They wanted to try and draw the attention to A, make everyone rotate and get the bomb plant of B. But when it backfires that horribly, you've got to think, okay, should we have just stuck together? Yeah, well, there's always hindsight. That's yeah, a, that's a bit of course, a problem. Of course. It's uh, great for us to see yeah, it. Yeah, we see exactly what's going on. But um, they probably should have stayed together, especially in a 2v3. They, they would have been out to at least trade and maybe give them a chance in the round. Well, as it is, it is now 10-3, and this has started to look a very good half for Fnatic. Troubly manages to get one down, but Flushet will reply with that grenade. He's going to get rushed down, and ironically, it seems to be the pistols that seem to work well for Penta. Pronax does pop through vents, gets himself one. And now the retake is on here. Pronax going to hop through with Trouble that flash. Didn't see him. Oh, didn't quite see him. Trouble looking the other way. Pronax gets himself another, gets himself a third on the board. And now in a one on three situation. Next gets one. This is possible. He's got a second one coming around oh. the side. Oh, Olaf Meister. <laughs> Kills himself in the flames there, but uh, with the grenade, sorry. But the defuse will come, and that's going to be 11 3. And honestly, a fantastic half now for Fnatic. Fnatic don't even look that happy. Like, it's it's okay, we're, we're getting through. Round by round. Gonna see full guns this time from uh, Penta. We're on, the, uh, we're on the 15th round, and they finally have Molotovs, full smokes, and they're gonna, a they're gonna be able to execute a proper strat. Um, so if they win on this one, they probably should have saved a bit earlier. Well, the double orb from JW and Olaf as well. JW is going to go aggressive. He's about to pop around there. There's the pop flash to go for, and he will land the frag on Dennis straight away. Backs away to forklift. The rest of the team try and push on, but he gets Crystal down as well. Can he go for the triple? Trouble, he just off the side caught a glimpse of his arm there. Pronax doesn't matter. He's going to take him down. And well, Penta's attack has been decimated before it even began. It is just Nex and Spitty who are trying to create something over on the B side. Goes completely against what I was saying. Doesn't matter how many nades and flashes they have, you can't stop JW. And actually, it's it's the first time as the CT half, you know, after 15 rounds, we see him finally going with that aggressive yeah. play with that AWP. It's it's something that actually, when I've been watching demos back of Fnatic, he does quite regularly on this cash side, but instead, Nex and Spidey will open themselves up. Crimson's off Meister down. Flush is just going to peek in towards top. Nex isn't looking at the angle. They're expecting something from CT, but instead it will be Flusher up on high. Spinny just beneath, they're pushing it from every angle. Can they all? They will close in. And that's exactly what he's going to do in a three and one situation. Come from every angle. 12 3 is a solid CT half from Fnatic here on Cash. It was Penta's map choice, remember? And of course, Fnatic's side choice. They're going to need Pistol again, Penta. Said it last map, but say it again. They, they need Pistol to be in this in this game. Otherwise, Pronax ended up on top of the scoreboard. It's always good to see an in-game leader at the top. Well, that is certainly for sure. But the pistol round and the CT side, remember, of course, it was, I believe, actually looking back, yeah, it was Fnatic that won that one. It took five rounds before Penta finally picked something up in the sixth. And probably has been the man causing problems, it seems, when he opened up sights. You've got to think, actually, See him on the screen there. He did manage to get that triple kill in the wrong round, but he only got seven kills overall. So despite the fact that the rounds they won was when he went big, maybe they just need that man to get a couple more on the board. One of them they won as well, I think, was a, was an eco where they had the, the tech nines and they had saved a uh, weapon for the round before. So their gun rounds were very weak. They didn't 
put up too much of a fight to Fnatic, who uh, were just solid all over the map. They had a, a bit of trouble towards uh, the B site when there was a few splits, but otherwise they were really strong and uh, played a, a really good CT half. You can see Devil Walk sat there behind Fnatic, and I had the chance to have a good chat with him for a good half an hour before this match actually got underway, and he was talking about how Fnatic have changed things up. They've now got themselves an analyst as well. Um, so they actually have Pronax, Devil Walk, and the Analyst all watching demos. And it's something I was talking to him about. It's like the fact is, you think back, maybe CSGO, probably a year ago, maybe two years ago, you had NIP at the top of tree. Everybody just watched NIP. Well, now you've got four major winners all looking to get through the quarterfinals. They've got so many games to watch. It's, it's just so much CSGO that they have to keep their eyes on. And you don't really know who you're going to come up against. Obviously, Penta is someone they were expecting because, you know, they would be looking at the groups and thinking, OK, we're probably going to be a number one seed. Who is likely to be the number two? So they would have researched these teams. Oh, definitely. And I think uh, you're exactly right there. There's so much Counter-Strike to watch. There's so much Counter-Strike being played now. And uh, you, you need those extra eyes. You take the load off your star players. Um, and you have people outside of the game doing the hard work. Yeah, meanwhile, of course, you just unleash the likes of JW up yeah. to the world. Flusher, though, is the man that's pushing up. He's the one single man. Olaf Meist has already opened up his account as he comes leaping through with that Tech 9 tech once nine. again in the pistol. Does finally get taken down by Troubly, but the damage has been done. JW has picked it straight up. Straight back on towards it. It's a four on one situation. And next, well, almost an unwinnable situation as they have themselves the A site covered Whoa. off. The bomb, however, was going to be. It doesn't matter. Didn't need to plan it. Not even going to get their plan down. Flush it ends things for them. Oh, got the plant as well, just to pick up that little bonus. But 13-3 the score. And with that pistol round finish, you've got to feel that may well be the nail in the coffin for Penta. Their confidence is so high right now, Fnatic. I don't, I don't think uh, Penta can get out of this mental hole that they probably put themselves in. You, you're almost reciting yourself to the fact you are going to lose versus the best team in the world, 13-3 down on cash. It's, it's really tough. Somewhat demoralizing in this when we see teams maybe making changes. Of course, Penta made a change coming into this tournament just a week ago with Troubly coming through there. Crims popping through Squeaky immediately, opening up his account. We'll get replied. Speedy will get one, but look, straight away. They've followed through with the revenge frag. <laughs> Pronax just about almost catching his teammate Olaf Meister there. A couple of shots in the back, just a couple of love taps maybe, but Troubly. He's in a 1v4. He's got himself that single AK-47 wrestled out of the hands of JW. And he's going to try to save it as best he can. But looking at 14-3 likelihood in this one. Does manage to get himself one. Anything else will be a bonus as Flusher peaks. He gets himself a second. This is not a bad start for Trouble here. If Pronax pushes on his position, a little bit unseen, he may get a third out of the hands, but... At this stage, 14-3, two rounds already on the T side. You've got to feel Pronex actually may find this one. Uh-oh. Comes around. Yes, he will. That's going to be the AK away. And Fnatic now in full control of Penta and looking to make themselves another pass in towards a semi-final of a major. Fnatic uh, only dropped 10 rounds in the group stages. And so far, they've in the quarterfinals, they've only dropped, I think it's 11. So... Pretty convincing wins. Uh, it was 16-8, so actually even less. No. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, 11. No, 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 can't count. That's, <laughs> right. That's why you're the pro player. Yeah. Got to count those rounds, man. Troubly, going to push out here, trying to go aggressive, but Flusher was already waiting for this one. It, you've got to see these players, and you see them setting up. They knew that there's going to be a pistol, and they were already expecting that rush around the corner. When you're holding angles like that, you just think, how much have they researched this team? How much are they expecting from everything that pens up throw at them? because Fnatic seemingly oh, no. are catching them off guard, but Denison next got kills, and this pistol round has suddenly turned into a fantastic round for Penta. But Olaf Meister, he's still alive, expecting Crystal. More trouble to come around, look at that. Already trying to get a bit of war bank there. He's got the Tech 9 as well. Double trouble from Olaf Meister, that's for sure. Grenade will go out, he's alive. gonna find one, he gets Spitty down. Can he go bigger? Dennis is going to get fouled. Oh! Well, perhaps he should have stuck with the AK. Who yeah, knows? could have just reloaded. Who knows? Could have gone for that reload. But it's a round on the board for Penta, and it's a round they absolutely need, and they're going to need a hell of a lot more of those. 12 more to go. 
to keep Fnatic from knocking them out of this tournament. Not taking anything away from um, Penta's good kills that they made then, but I think Fnatic got a little bit ahead of themselves. They just rushed in when they knew that the pistols were close and tried to make frags that it just didn't work out for them. Uh, maybe taking it a bit slower and calming down and going, all right, guys, we're, we're two rounds away from the uh, semis would have been a great decision. Well, you say that, but they do have Tech Nines and they may well actually speed things up with this one. We'll see how it works out. I did manage to get to talk about the Tech Nines with Devil Walk and he was talking about how Fnatic have themselves changed their strategies based around that and actually going for those quick plays with it. Next, getting caught out by the molly there, that grenade oh, managed to find its target, not doing as much damage as perhaps it could have. JW trying to rattle those shots through the smoke. Big shots. Olaf Meister will get Crystal and Dennis. Well, that is the mid-controlled wrestled away from Penta. Now we're in a two-on-five situation here. Crimps gets himself another trouble. He's the last man standing. He's caught out. CT side. They do get him down, though. JW is dropped. And so often it seems that trouble he is the last man standing for Penta. I don't, I, I don't even know what he needs to do here. If he saves his team, they, they've got match point. If he goes for it, well, there's probably going to force by again next round anyway. So looks like he probably will save. Even the exit frags that don't matter at this point with the, with the scoreline the way it is. Well, Wallaf most are not going to work out for him this time. Perhaps he should have stuck with that tank nine, but probably will rescue himself an AK. He's going to get Flusher come around the side. That's a triple. Can he go for the quad? Oh, not quite going to happen. Grims will get the reply. And now it is match point for Fnatic as they move to 15-4. Fully bought up again. Let's see if uh, they can they can win this one with the rifles. Well, Penta's rounds have been with pistols. Yep. That's where Most of their four I'm rounds pretty sure all four rounds yeah. are from the pistols. So maybe whatever they do, that aggression they bottle up for the pistol rounds, they maybe need to make use of. Dennis is the sole man with an M4. There is a Famas for Crystal as well, but already it's all off most of making tracks towards a site, but he is the only man. You can see JW trying to get those shots down. Next taken down to just nine health, probably on 15. The aggression from Dennis here pushing uh, Squeakidor is, is going to give them a lot of early information. The CT should be able to stack B. Yeah, he's managed to get himself all around the side. They know that Olaf Meister is just off the side, so he's simply on a fact-finding mission now, right now, Dennis. He could easily sneak around the back of them, but they're aware that there's a lot of people over at the B site. Crimps just looked away at the wrong instant. Goes for the weapon change. Dennis gets himself a second. Flush is going to peek around. Huge. He'll get himself a third. And that is a huge, huge play from Dennis. I think he came all the way from Squeaky there. All the way around the back of them. And now it's just Olaf Meister on Pronax for Fnatic. Olaf's the danger man here. He's, he's in a really good position to pick up some frags. Between two CTs. He could catch someone off guard. That is the 4K for Dennis. <laughs> and will they? Well, they risk it. I don't think they were risking trying to even force him on the ACA. They want to just take him down. They know where he is. They just popped around the side. Is. They give it to him. Great it round. is the ace for Dennis. Absolutely sensational. And that is absolutely what Penta needed. Now they just need to do that another uh, 10 times. <laughs> just another 10 times. That's all they're going to do. It, what is it about pistol rounds for Penta? Who knows? Love to check back on the demos and see exactly what they do differently. And it's maybe just that aggression. Maybe. The angles are not helping for them, but Dennis this time has got himself the AWP after that play. Maybe well rewarding himself. Last and it looks like Fnatic. he's going to find himself some Fnatic members already pushing up. Does it go full on aggression? JW style, but will get himself a good angle. JW himself is, as you can see, pushing up close. Flush out, goes around the side there, tries to peek, didn't notice that JW was nearby, and now Crim's popping he's around trouble. squeaky. He's in trouble. He's going to get pinned down. He will get one. Can he get the second? He will. JW goes down. Now he's got the support that he needed, and just now Penta get himself around on the board. I didn't think help it's was ever coming. He was, he was stuck on his own for a while there. I didn't think they were coming to help him. It's like sometime soon, guys. Sometime soon. That was the shot, because you feel Crim's almost had him down there, down to 12 health. But he hung on. Here's the Tech Nines. Five Tech Nines from Fnatic. <laughs> this is the round. The Rec Nine. Just two head armor. That's all they've gone with for Olaf and Crims. We'll see how it works out. A couple of flashes and one smoke for Olaf. It seems that A site is going to be the focus target. There's the flashes going over towards Quad site. There's Speedy is going to get caught out. But they are defending deep on this one. So they're expecting something like this from 
Fnatic. Pronax has got himself in towards that quad site. Crims will get the bomb plant down. It is only Olaf that's gone down to Crystal. That smoke paying dividends at keeping them away from that bomb site as they try to rattle the shots through the smoke. Oh. Flusher doing what he can, gunning, running and gunning. Crystal will go down. Everybody is actually pretty low on Penta. This is quite doable, but Fnatic can look at JW. He's rotating. He's got himself around the back. He gets himself one, gets himself a second. Troubly now gets himself two as well. And JW is the last man standing, he's but he's got it, another. It, he's got it. a stick on this one. JW is going to run for it. He's going to get it down. But JW will get himself the 4K, but the round was picked up by Penta with the defuse. Wow. This is definitely on the knife edge for Penta, no doubt about that. Yeah, when the, uh, when the Ecos are, are that uh, hectic, you got to really worry about what's going to happen on the gun rounds. The Ecos have been what it's all about for both of these teams now. Crystal with the AWP this time around, but JW himself has picked one up. We'll see if he goes for a boost, whether he tries to, for any aggressive play. It looks like it may well be that boost it's in there. Oh, look pick. at this. It's a boost on the van, actually. At the back there, on top of Pronax. Up on high, trying to look at the coils, but nobody showing for them. Flushing, meanwhile, has got himself one on Dennis. Somebody's just there at the box. Just, oh, oh didn't land it. Yeah, we're going to try for it, not going to happen. They have got themselves two already stacked up around Squeaky, though, so Fnatic already in position. Crims keeping himself busy, trying to get rats and rattles. Look at Olaf Meister. Uh oh, spin his head it is not going to be long with this world. And now this A site. They've got to rotate. The rotate's already on from Penta, but is it going to be quick enough? Because Fnatic are looking to make the play. That smoke out should slow them down just enough. You can see one's already back on site. Oh, trouble. He already dropped, though. So now it's down to a five-on-two situation for Penta to stay in this game. JW does go down. Crystal tries to find one. He's not going to get the no-scope down. Next is going to drop, and that is Fnatic going through to the semi-finals. 16-8 on Inferno, 16-7 on Cash. It has been a solid performance for the number one team in the world. Clinical there. Solid, solid play overall, no doubt about it. And if you were to look at the frags, you can see 21 for Flusher, 21 for Olaf Meister, 20 for Pronax, JW on 16, and Crims on 15. Pretty good spread overall, considering how it was going in the first half. And really. You know, there's so many players on that team that can step up when it counts. But when the entire team steps up, the world needs to watch out. Well, when everyone is playing that well, uh, it's going to be really hard for the other, the other team to even have an opportunity to get in it. And I think that's what we saw there. Uh, I don't know what... Like, Penta shouldn't be too disappointed with uh, the performance. Uh, Fnatic are the best team in the world, in, in my opinion. I think uh, that's definitely arguable, but in my opinion, they're the best team in the world. Um, and they, they had some really close rounds, and I think the idea of trying to keep Fnatic's money game low over both maps was actually a, a good ploy. They just got really unlucky in some situations where they probably should have won rounds and they didn't. Uh, that could have really tipped uh, some halves in their favour. But Well, that's just it. I mean, if you look at Penta, they're going to look back at these matches and say the rifle rounds where they actually invested were the ones they were losing, yet they were winning the Ecos when they were maybe playing a little bit for more fast and lose a little bit reckless. So they've got to look at that and think, OK, how do we counter these sort of teams? Fantastic stuff. Nonetheless, we are going to get over towards the stage. I can see, looks like JW is standing by with Sean. Thank you very much, D-Man. JW, take, tell me, tell me, take me through that game. Uh, it pretty much went the way we wanted it to go. Uh, we knew that they would pick Cash because it's their best map. So uh, Cash was the main focus for us because we have lost that online to them. So we watched some demos on them and prepared especially for Cash. Uh, our Inferno is always pretty strong T side. So we decided to pick that one. So they start CT. So I think everything pretty much went our way. Like, like we expected it to go, pretty much. Now, a game like that, you're done, that's, that's it for today. How does that make you feel? You feel like job well done, good night's sleep ahead? I mean, sure, the match is done, but the tournament is still not over, so we have to go home and focus on the semifinals. Any uh, thoughts about that? Any thoughts about tomorrow? Uh, I'm pretty sure Virtus Pro will win, but, I mean, it's still Counter-Strike, anything can happen, but... Uh, I think we will play Virtus Pro here tomorrow. Okay, and the crowd was obviously behind you. I mean, there was some real moments where they were getting in, involved. 
Can you hear that? Does that affect you when, when you're in there with the team? Uh, you don't really hear that much, uh, but you kind of feel it, so to say. So it, it feels amazing to play in front of an awesome crowd, of course. Excellent, awesome crowd. Thank you so much. Thank you, of course, to the guys from Penta. And of course, Fnatic, well done. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, for now, we'll head right back over to you, Machine.